All right, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can switch the teams of players using the portal rules editor. Um, it's not very difficult. You can always build off of this, what I show you, but this example I'm going to give you is relatively simple. Um, I'm going to be doing sort of like an, an infection scenario where there's infected and survivors. And so using the rule that I do, we want the survivors to switch teams whenever they're killed by the infected. Um, and to start, we're, want, we're going to want to get a new rule. So we're going to click on this, drag this out. Um, I'm going to title a team switch. And so we want the event to occur whenever a player earns a kill. And so to do that, we're going to click on this first drop down menu. And there's a bunch of different options here, but in this case, we're going to do on player earned a kill. And so essentially what this says is this rule will only occur on the event a player earns a kill. And so first we're going to want to get a condition. Um, which is essentially like, um, it is what it says. It's a condition that needs to be met in order for the rule to occur, which is anything in this actions section. So first we're gonna get a condition, drag that in there. And this condition, we wanna check to make sure the player who earned a kill is on the correct team. Because once again, we're doing an infection scenario. So we want the player's team to be equal to the team that is the infected. So in this case, I'm gonna make team one the infected and team two the survivors. So we're going to want the player who earned a kill to be equal to team one, their team to be equal to team one, I'm sorry. And so first we're going to want to get an equal statement and to find that we're going to go into logic and there's going to be equals right here. We're going to drag this down like that. And so now we can put two different variables in. For the first one, we're going to want to get the team of the player. And then for the second one, we're going to want to get team one. And so for this first one, we're going to want to, like I said, get the team of the player. And so to do that, we're going to go to get team ID, which I believe is in player. Yep, get team ID, drag that out right there. And then for this one, we're going to want to get the specific player who earned a kill. And in that case, we're going to scroll up to event payloads and do event player. Um, if you notice, there is another one that says event other player, and we're going to use that later on. Um, but for this specific event, event player is the player who earned a kill. And event other player is the player who was killed. And so we're going to use event other player for another um, statement later on. But anyways, now that we have that, we're going to want to get the team one. So again, we're going to go get team ID, which is in player, get team ID. And you can also enter in a number. If you notice, there's a little number thing right here, just like a, there's a player thing. And to enter a number, we're going to go down to literals, number, and then for a team deathmatch and everything, there's only two teams. So, and they're uh, represented by the number one and two. So in this case, we're gonna do one. And so that's it for the first one. We're basically halfway done with this. And so what this essentially says is, in order for this rule to occur, the player who earned a kill's team ID has to be equal to one. So simpler terms, the player has to be on team one in order for this to occur. Um, and what we want to occur will be written will be put down in this actions tab and what we're going to be doing is setting the team id of the player who was killed to team one and so to do that we're going to scroll up here to gameplay scroll down to general set team id drag that in there and we're going to want to get a player and then a team and so the first one we're going to do player no not player event payloads and this is where we use event other player. Um, like I said before, event player in this case is the player who actually earned the kill and event other player is the player who was killed by the event player. And since we want to set the player who was killed to the new team, we're gonna use event other player here. And then now all we have to do is get team ID again, which again is I believe in player, get team ID. And so you can either do literals and one and that'll set the other player to team one, or you can do event player. It'll do the same exact thing, seeing as event player's team is equal to one. Um, I do it this way because I feel like it's quote unquote safer. In case I type in the wrong number, it won't mess anything up. And in this way, if you wanted, let's say you wanted the infected to be team two instead of one, you don't have to go down here and type anything else. I don't think it makes that big of a difference, but that's just, I prefer it this way. Um, but with that being said, that's it. I mean, it's pretty simple. You can, again, you can build off of this and make more complex, you know, rule statements and stuff like that. Um, but that's basically how you change teams. Um, 
the main the main block here is set team ID. This actually is what changes the team of the player. And the condition is just something you want if you want it to be specific to a certain team or a certain player or anything like that. But that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you like the content I post, feel free to subscribe, leave a like. Um, if this was hard to understand, feel free to leave a comment. I didn't script this because I'm lazy and I didn't really feel like it. So it might be a little hard to follow. If it is, feel free to leave a comment and I can explain it to you a little easier in that, in that regard. But with that being said, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one, whenever that is.